let's face it, Gutenberg still has room to grow. As WordPress developers and designers, you'll have to grow along with it. And while you might have tried it before, it's getting constant updates to improve its functionality and effectiveness. Do you think of websites over the last uh, 20 years, they change a lot, styles change a lot, trends come and go. Um, and in the past, when you change the theme, uh, your site would break, right? But now with Gutenberg, it's kind of these uh, these elements where you can change the theme, you can change the styles, you can change blocks, but your whole site won't really break. So it can really evolve uh, as trends change and as your customers' needs change. Released in 2017 and named after the inventor of the printing press, this editor is designed to make WordPress easier for your clients to use. It's taken some time for WordPress developers and designers to unlock the secrets of using this paradigm-shifting technology. But whether you like it or not, Gutenberg is here to stay. These eight tips can help future-proof your WordPress business. Tip 1. Long gone are the days when you only needed to know a little JavaScript and PHP to write a plugin. Loads of modern user experiences now take advantage of JavaScript libraries, and Gutenberg relies heavily on React.js. This means anyone working with WordPress will want to familiarize themselves with JavaScript if they haven't already. With a bit of knowledge of modern JavaScript, its frameworks, and related libraries, you'll be on the path to learning to develop your own Gutenberg blocks. I'm going to give you one homework assignment in closing, which I've never done in the state of Word before. And you might be able to predict it. In fact, I am going to commit to this myself. Uh, you will see at least one patch from me in JavaScript stuff by the time that 4.7 comes out. So. If I can do it, I mean, I'm a dumb CEO now. Like, if I can learn JavaScript, every single one of you can. And I encourage everyone to really dive into it because it is the future of the web. There's amazing resources online, too. Check out things like Code Academy. There's Coursera courses. There's great books. There's, uh, there's mentorships. There's meetups going on. There's lots of sessions on this in every WordCamp now. It's going to be a lot more in the coming year. Take every opportunity to really beef up your JavaScript chops because it's what's going to allow WordPress to thrive for the next 13 years. Tip 2. Gutenberg offers an intuitive WYSIWYG editor for your clients, reducing the amount of hand-holding you'll need to do with them. Your theme should match the publish page with what clients see in the editor as closely as possible. This piece of advice comes from Bill Erickson's article, linked in the description. Create an editor style.css file in your theme. Add this code to your functions.php file to activate support for the editor CSS file. The free Go WordPress theme is a great example of a theme that does editor style sheets right. Tip guy. There's no reason to reinvent the wheel. It's worth exploring popular plugins and code galleries to see if you can meet your client's needs with existing software. For example, the free CoBlox plugin has over 30 customizable blocks in its library. There are libraries like Redux, Stackable, and Ultimate Blocks, all available in the WordPress plugin repo. For specific functionality, it's worth exploring plugins that may come with a single or few blocks as part of their specialty. For example, gallery and social media plugins. Tip V. If you're replacing default blocks with custom ones or don't need some of the default blocks for your theme, Remove them from the editor so clients don't accidentally select them. Create an editor.js file for your theme to on-queue the assets and unregister them. Check out Bill Erickson's article, linked in the description for more details. Many of you also dislike the standard block styles that come with WordPress. You can also remove these quite easily. Here's another article from Bill to see how. You can find a list of all current Gutenberg blocks in the WordPress.org support article. Tip. The reusable blocks feature is an extremely useful solution for efficient development. Much like copying and pasting code snippets from existing sources, it allows you to save content blocks to reuse them on other pages and posts with a single click. For example, adding ad banners on some, or all, of your pages. 
or tossing in sections with call to actions commonly reused and distributed on your website. This feature could even be used to add pre-designed forms or tables to your content. Creating a reusable block couldn't be easier. Just add a content block, style it however you want, then click on the hamburger menu at the top right and select Add Reusable Blocks. Name it and easily add this same content block to any page or post. Can't think of an easier way to save time. Tip six. Create or access an existing block, click on the circled plus sign and click Embeds to add it to your post. Aside from the generic embed block, you'll have the option to insert a wide range of supported options for video, audio, images, tweets, and other third-party content. Adding a custom CSS class is also easy to add for embedded content. Just click on the Advanced Settings panel on the right sidebar to add your custom CSS classes to the block. Tip Sieben. Gutenberg's developers understood the demand for efficiency. They've included all kinds of useful shortcuts to make your life easier. To use Gutenberg like a pro, view all keyboard shortcuts from a post of the page edit screen with Control Option H on Mac or Shift Alt H on Windows and Linux. Adding new content blocks has never been easier. On a new line, hit the forward slash to open a small pop up with recently used blocks. You can search for blocks by name and hit Enter to add it to a post or page. Easily delete a selected content block with Shift Option Z on Mac or Control Alt Backspace on Windows and Linux. Tip Act. Stay up to date on the latest Gutenberg developments and follow the official GitHub repository. While the documentation for Gutenberg continues to improve, keeping an eye on the latest developments will keep you on top of the latest features. What's more, loads of plugins are looking for contributors. This is an excellent opportunity to get involved in the community, hone your skills, and improve your knowledge of Gutenberg. Gutenberg is packed with a number of features that definitely make it easy for users to build a site. So if you're building or designing a site for a client, they should have an easier time updating content themselves after initial development is complete. I think the, the Gutenberg editor really opens up a lot of options um, to help you create really rich content um, and have a good understanding of how that's going to look while you're creating it. One of the things I really love about the Gutenberg editor is how you can have a, um, a complete visual picture of what your page looks like as you're creating it. And the back end editor can match the front end, um, so you don't have to constantly hit preview to, to view the site. You can actually see it as you're creating that content. Love or hate the blocks, both WordPress and Gutenberg aren't going anywhere anytime soon. Who knows? The next block you develop might just be exactly what your client, or the WordPress plugin repo, is looking for. Fertig.